Well, welcome back. Good morning. We are at 1 Samuel 12, verses 6 through 12, and let's read them out straight, straight on here. Then Samuel said to the people, It is the Lord who raised up Moses and Aaron, and who brought your fathers up from the land of Egypt. Now therefore stand still, that I may reason with you before the Lord concerning all the righteous acts of the Lord, which he did to you and your fathers. When Jacob had gone into Egypt, and your fathers cried out to the Lord, then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, who brought your fathers out of Egypt and made them dwell in this place. And when they forgot the Lord their God, he sold them into the hand of Sisera, commander of the army of Hazor, into the hand of the Philistines and into the hand of the king of Moab, and they fought against them. Then they cried out to the Lord and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken the Lord and served the Baals and the Ashtoreths. But now deliver us from the hand of our enemies and we will serve you. And the Lord sent Yerubbabel, Badan, and Jephthah, and Samuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side, and you dwelt in safety. And when you saw that Nahash, king of the Ammonites, came out against you, you said to me, No, but a king shall reign over us when the Lord our God was your king. So let's pause there. Again, we're kind of in the middle of a longer stretch here, but uh, the history is now being uh, re represented here. And this is a common thing in the Bible where they kind of work their way back through the history and they always remember where they're coming from. There's a continuity from the past into the present and into the future. God's people, God's people all along that line are all one thing, see. And so Samuel is uh, taking them to, through. He's walking them through to the fact that now they're going to be in a monarchy and he's showing that when the people were obedient, God would deliver. The development of time would happen. The people would cry out out of the oppression, and God would deliver. And this is a pattern we see many times. And now this pattern, he is telling them, this pattern has happened again. You wanted a human king. Here he is. Ta-da. And God has delivered you from Nahash the Ammonite. So this is kind of the, the, uh, the sequence of things, and Samuel is laying it out in front of the people. There's been a transition in your history, O Israel. You better not forget it. So we'll leave it there for now. And uh, uh, in terms of us, I guess the application is what? God's people today constitute a connection. We're a connection on that thread going back through time. We are part of these people. We are part of the church, part of God's people all the way back to the Garden of Eden. So we are connected to that. Sure, you know, you might have a French blood or, or uh, Philip, whatever your, whatever your nationality is. You might go back and trace back to this or that, but you know, ultimately, um, what we really are is a spiritual people. And so, sure, you've got whatever DNA you've got, whatever whatever ethnicity you have, but ultimately, we are one nation. We are the church of Jesus. And so, let's remember that. Let's be people who follow. Let's recognize that the histories we're reading about here, histories of Israel, are actually the histories of God's people. That is, i.e., that's my history. That's your history God's history, the history of God's people, is our history because we are God's people. Don't forget it. You're part of something that is thousands and thousands of years long. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that we're part of something bigger than ourselves, something very important, something you've been doing for a very long time. What a privilege we have to have any part in this, in this body, the body of believers in God. Help us, Lord, to be your followers, your true followers. Help us to recognize that you are working uh, in the moment. We don't always see you're working, but it's there. May we be absolutely true to you, and we know you'll be true to us as long as we are true to you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, God's on his throne. He's working for his people. That has not stopped at all. Today, he'll work for you. Have a wonderful day.